what a night we are in for. When you look back, the likes of Tasha Gale, Karen Murphy, Heather Ballinger, they paved a way over many years and helped lay the foundation for Women's Rugby League. Well, tonight we get a glimpse into Generation Next on display the future of Women's Rugby League, the future of NRLW. And boy, do we have some talented players to watch out for this evening. It is the first of our rep games across rep weekend here at Leichhardt Oval. And out come the Queensland team, led out by their captain and second rower, Hannah Larson. There's four NRLW players in the Queensland lineup, just one for New South Wales. And while it is under 19, there are some 17 year olds in action as well. So very much a glimpse into the future. And there's one player to look out for, Jatea Feifua has played for the Gold Coast Titans. We know she has blinding speed and someone looking forward to seeing in action here tonight. And out come the home side, New South Wales. They'll be met by a big roar of the building crowd here at Leichhardt Oval. A lot of youngsters, a lot of rugby league fans. Ready for this one here at Leichhardt tonight. Hope you are at home as well. Alana Ferguson and Phil Building commentary tonight. And Alana, one player to really look out for tonight for New South Wales is the 5'8", Lasana Lutu. Oh, isn't she ever? I'm really looking forward to seeing her out there on the big stage. They'll be pumped for this one. The 19-year-old women, the Queensland girls and the New South Wales. But there's Lutu there, the 5'8", New South Wales. She's incredible. Raw talent loves the game and just watch her inject herself into the game. Uh, she's the one player that Queensland cannot afford to give time and space to. She could be brutal. Yep. So we're just about ready for action. Queensland to kick off. First use of the football for New South Wales. Let Rep Round begin. The first of eight games that we have for you. On nine across the next four days, culminating, of course, in State of Origin 2, exclusive live and free, 7 o'clock Sunday on nine and nine now. But right now, let's sit back and enjoy what should be an enthralling contest between Queensland and New South Wales. Stars of the future. And one of the things, too, we heard in pre-game as well, that a lot of these girls here are the, the first gen... Oh, there's a hit over the top from April Narapuna. But the, the first group is New South Wales get a penalty that Alana can really benefit from having just played girls' footy right throughout their juniors. Yeah, well, and that's it. It's the pathway that leads them here and then also what the future holds. When you're looking at Queensland side and you see their fullback, Shantae Kiria Ratu, not yet signed in an NRLW side. She is one of many of these women out here that have a very bright future and this is just that next step towards it. But a huge opportunity for these women today. New South Wales now all oh, making an error on the first tackle, putting that one down. Good opportunity to bring you in, Gus. Good evening. It's an exciting night, isn't it? It certainly is. And the crowd's starting to, to shuffle in. They kept them outside a little bit too long, but just finding their places now. A lot of young girls in the crowd looking here to see these young women play the game. And this, this under-19s class, New South Wales versus Queensland, in the men's division, has been going for some time, and it's, it's really been a precursor to NRL talent. A lot of players coming out of this, you know, junior, um, elite, game and making their way into the NRL and now we've even seen players going into the Origin Series, Men's Origin. I can see that pathway developing for these girls as well. Paul Gallen. Hey guys, yeah, down on the sideline, the crowd is starting to, to build now. As Gus said, they weren't let in straight away, but definitely building at the moment. And pretty good conditions down here. It is a little bit dewy on the ground, but it's about 17 degrees, so it's not too cool at all. And uh, some good conditions for these women tonight. It's a good set here from Queensland. Just outside the New South Wales 30. Colt to dummy half, just held up the pass. And here's Jada Ferguson, driven back in some rock solid defense there. Lalani Wilson, the chief defender there for New South Wales. Hurdage and drifts across. Oh, I didn't have much room there when she gave the ball to his skipper, Hannah Larson. And they make an error late in the set, Queensland. 
Yeah. Yeah, they might have just Turtle. overrun that. Probably running those support lines a little bit flat, but credit to New South Wales defence. Getting up and meeting them, I noticed that from the first set from Queensland. Their line speed is unbelievable, and that's what's putting the pressure on and forcing some errors. A few nerves maybe early on, do you think, Gus? Oh, absolutely. You know, I think sometimes you've got to keep your football a little bit simple early so everyone gets a touch, and their first touch is a good one, and that builds confidence. Go for your shots too early, sometimes you can lead to errors. Both sides have done that already. Let's see if they can settle down. Now, our great statistician, David Middleton, is used to coming up with some good stats. But New South Wales have three players who are not related, all born on the same day as the Blues get another penalty. Hooker, Reuben Sherrington, Lock, Aisha Duckett, an interchange player, Jules Kirkpatrick, all born on the same day. He's done some digging this week. Has Mido. That's got to be lucky, Salty. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Yeah, he's got an interesting life, David. <laughs> Sits around and looks at people's birth dates. <laughs> he's New South Wales. That's Mona Lisa Soliola playing the ball. Oh, solid hit. Fiona Yanke coming in with a big tackle for Queensland. He's held Jaden. Puna was there as well. Oh, that's good hands. The juggle. Canard will play it. Here's Lutu drifting. Nice pass there from Taylor. Finds the centre and he's going to go away and score Andy Robinson. Blinding speed from the blue centre and it's first blood of the home side. And look at the celebrations. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? And that's it. That's that blue spirit playing with plenty of pride, the New South Wales women. But this comes back to, for me, Lasana Lutu, all the time and space in the world, as we see here in the Harvey Norman replay, that's what you can't give her. She's exceptional at summing up exactly what needs to happen. They did a nice little block play, but Andy Robertson holding that width in the centers and just nice and patient waiting for that ball. But Lutu played her role perfectly. She set a little bit deeper, so she gave herself that time and space and a lovely little tip on. Yeah, she's certainly an X-factor, this young girl. Play with the West Tigers. She can play seven or nine. She's in the Harvey Norman women's squad. The New South Wales and City 18s. Very talented girl. Look at this, lovely. That's really fluent action. She gave the ball right at the exact right time to create the space on the outside and a nice finish. Paul Gallant. Well, Isabel Kelly spoke before the game about Jada Taylor and why uh, everything you're saying is, is right, guys. I love the tip on from Jada Taylor. Very quick hands as a winger jammed in her. Pass it to the try scorer who did the rest, but terrific hands there from Jada Taylor. Great ball play. Just glad there was no carnage in the celebration. They're going to injure each other the way they celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, conversion missed. So Andy Robinson, the first try scorer tonight for New South Wales. And as Paul Gallon said, already some nice touches from the Blues fullback Jada Taylor. And Alana, you highlighted the 5 8 for the Blues as well, Lasana Lutu. You heard that hit in your lounge room at home. Solid contact on Soliola. Well, here's Tunganga. Good, strong run from Chantel Tunganga. They go down a short side here, New South Wales. Middleton does well to stay in the field of play, only just. Sherrington, good start here from New South Wales. Taylor gets a pass away. Montgomery found a, a runner. Heavily involved is the fullback drifting everywhere. Is Lutu puts in a kick. 
Tua Hika gets a catch on it. Oh, that's a good tackle. Great tackle. What about the composure of this young 5'8"? We've already wrapped her a couple of times, but Asana Lutu with that crossfield kick that landed right on the money. So composed on last play. Paul Gallant. Yeah, guys, you should hear some of the contact down here on the solo. And there's two or three tackles made just in front of us, and you can hear the whack from the defence. Uh, they are absolutely giving it to each other, these women. Well, that's a great start in the contest, Gal. Just uh, plenty of feeling out there, but some great skill as well. Now it's Queensland through Hannah Larson. The skipper just outside the 30. Hard yards here for the Maroons at the moment. Herdigen. Last play here for Queensland. And it's with the front rower here. Young K, so this will be a turnover. The halfback got tackled and no one came in to take the kicking duties or poor communication and it's a turnover. Yeah, that one's gonna hurt the Queensland women. Kept inside their own half for the most part. They need their halves to be dominant there and be the loud voice. Get out of their half. Make it harder for the New South Wales women who have the momentum. They're coming off the back of points. And now they get to start at halfway. The pass went behind Lutu, but quickly recovered and then looking for an opportunity herself. Tackled 10 metres into Queensland Territory. He's 18 years of age, Lutu. Good platform here once again for New South Wales. And now it reaches Liu. Cuts back inside, still alive. Here come the cavalry for Queensland. And is stopped 12 metres away from the line. Last play here for New South Wales. Poor pass on the bounce. Montgomery puts in a kick. And Queensland are able to clean up and get some footy. Blue's asking plenty of questions early on. Well, Queensland have not seen the other end of the field as yet. Haven't been able to get out of their own half. A lot of pressure applied by the Blues. Looks like they need a penalty or something to assist them get out of trouble. Good tackle in there, Chantel Tunganga. He's able to not a pull up. Thought about the offload, not forthcoming. Larson goes into New South Wales territory. Colt the dummy half. Now they'll get to a kick. Ferdinand. Good take and good coverage across the field there from Jada Taylor. Got plenty of pace. The New South Wales fullback, 18 years of age, hailing from Tamworth. Told to go back half a metre and play it on the mark. And into Queensland Territory they go. That's a very good run. Sherrington it was, the hooker, out of dummy half. And now Ilani Wilson playing it. Taylor Montgomery goes to Lutu. Robinson now finds her winger, Casey Tohihiku, going for the corner and is going to be stopped. What a good set of six that was again from New South Wales. Yeah, well, that's the deepest they've got the ball in their own territory and they just worked away over the advantage line, made good ground. And then rather than kicking on tackle five, they had a bit of an investigation out wide and nearly came up with a try. So they look very cohesive at the moment. And once again, the Maroons have to work it out of their own ends. Otessa Poulet playing it. Surprised Alana from a Queensland point of view that Jasmine Peters, a player with four games experience this year in the NRLW, 
off the bench tonight. Oh, for sure. That was a that was a late change. She was meant to start in the centres, but I guess what she'll add from the bench again is scary for for New South Wales, and that might be their big plan. They've got a they've got a massive pack, so maybe they're trying to play smaller minutes to kick things off and bring some strike power on. But she'll be a danger when she takes the field. But Tessa Liu takes that one well. Gets away from the ball. Came back and made the tackle, Jade Herdigen. Just reminding you, 30-minute halves for tonight's game, the women's under-19s origin, so playing 30-minute halves. We've had 12 and a half minutes of the first half, and here's some more good ball movement from New South Wales. Chantel Tungunga tackles. Down to you, Gal. Yeah, guys, rugby league can be a very simple game sometimes. You can see it right now from the Blues. They've run for over 210 metres compared to 105 for the Queensland. And so the Blues are definitely in the battle in the middle of the field, which is uh, contributing to their efforts out wide. Oh, look at that skill again from Lutu. Finds the winger, Tawi Hiku. Last play. Lock in. Kick to the other side of the field this time. Lutu, and the target is Liu. But it's taken at the back there by Fafua for Queensland. That was a nice confident take too. Pressure kick, but she judged it well and made a few metres coming out of trouble. Doing a good job at slowing down that play the ball too, New South Wales in defence, just making it even harder for the Queensland women to get out of their own half. Well, you're just starting to see a little bit of fatigue here because there's been no breaks in play, really, has there? Had a couple of drop balls early, but since then, we've had the ball in play most of the time. So. And spreading it too. When New South Wales had the ball, they went from sideline to sideline, so they've been doing a fair bit of work in D, Queensland. The Queensland have gone to their bench. Well, Carter about to come on in jersey number 17. Okay. Uh, they're probably looking at that, but here's a break being made downfield. for Fafua gets a pass back on the inside, going for the line, and getting there is Jada Ferguson for Queensland. So they do hit back to Maroons. Well, that's all they needed, isn't it? One of those momentum swings. They made great inroads up on that left short side, the Queensland women, and then just support. That's what Origin's all about. We see here on the Harvey Norman replay, numbers moving around the ball, that lovely inside pass to Jada Ferguson, and then a little bit of footwork to go over. That's everything at this point in the game because New South Wales had all the momentum. Queensland was starting to look tired but a couple of excellently executed passes and a bit of speed to burn Gus and Queensland go over. Ah, uh, you can never hold a good Queenslander down. They've been battling their way out of the half for so long now, but then was their first opportunity to see a little bit of shortness on the, on the blind side there. Only one defender, they recognised it quickly. They swooped on it like a seagull on a hot chip. Look at this, <laughs> outnumber them, down the sideline they go and off for the prize. That's a brilliant try from their own end of the field. Paul Gallen. Yeah, you're right, Gus. Brilliant try and brilliant vision from Jada Ferguson. She started it and finished it. Realised there's only one New South Wales defender on the short side. She had numbers there. Went down the short side from dummy half, drew the winger and backed up inside for the try. So, terrific vision. Great play from Jada Ferguson. Jada Ferguson. Played her junior footy at the Tweed Seagulls. Has played four NRLW games. Originally from Toowoomba. Now here's Shantae Kiriaratu. Ready to take the conversion here for Queensland. And putting the Maroons in front if she's successful. And that's a great kick. So Queensland, it's been backs to the wall for the first half of this first half, but they've taken the lead, the Maroons. 
and that is ruled to be knocked back. The fullback's got it for Queensland, Shante Kiriaratu. Women's Origin tomorrow night in Canberra at GAO Stadium will be on air from 7.30. Queensland against New South Wales. The last time it's going to be a one-off clash. So should be a big one tomorrow night. Looking forward to it. Coverage starting, as I said, at, at 7.30. Alana looking forward to getting down to GAO Stadium tomorrow night. Mate, couldn't be more pumped. I was actually in camp with the New South Wales women a couple of days ago. And they just sort of relaxed. They look the most comfortable and, and relaxed as I've seen them in a long time. Queensland getting themselves a penalty here just before halfway. This is a handy little piggyback to make some ground towards that try line. Do the girls have bonding sessions in camp? <laughs> Gus, you know me better than that. <laughs> would we be playing if there wasn't a bonding session included? <laughs> well, we would be, but yes, we certainly do. <laughs> this fullback for Queensland in the white headgear, very distinctive, Shante Kiriaratu. She's come with her own cheer squad tonight. I saw people getting off a bus and they all had their, her name on the back of the jersey. That's brilliant. Yeah. And cheer squad. She breaks into the backfield and scores a try, you'll hear them. Certainly will. Here's a run from Georgina Tui Ta'alili. Now Herdigen to Larson. In solid defence from New South Wales, but they'll need to be solid here because Queensland and were knocking on the door until a forward pass was thrown. Uh, Taylor, where do you want it? It's a bit of a let off for the Blues, wasn't it? They're looking good there, Queensland. Yeah. See a lot of this out of dummy half. People got the camera right in line. Look at that. That's the ball runner getting in front of the play, the ball too quickly. The dummy half, like a magnet, they just throw it to them. Even though it's offside, they throw it to them. They think they're going to get away with it. You can't get away with it. There's eyes everywhere. Leichhardt over looking terrific on this Thursday night. We saw the, the shots from the drone. Cityscape in the background. And a good atmosphere here at Leichhardt Oval tonight. And a good game of footy as well as New South Wales getting a penalty. After that hit up from Soliola. Only got just over 11 minutes left in the first half. Time flies when you've got 30 minute halves. Interesting choice from the, the Blues, taking the tap inside their own 30. Well, and when they're playing the game is quick too. We haven't had much, much of a breather. Still a very fast pace, only 10 minutes to go before half time. New South Wales getting a penalty. Good set of six, all the same. Here come the New South Wales under 19s team. Arriving. Here at Leichhardt Oval, that's a good strong run from Mia Middleton. She's had a couple of strong surges. Very determined player. There's a dummy throwing. Not fallen for by the New South Wales for the Queensland defence. Now Lutu. What will she do this time? Taking the line on. Oh, good stepping. It is the last. He's created an overlap through the hands. Here it is with Liu back towards the centre of the ground. It'll be some try if they can score it. She's still alive. Bang on the strip. Now this could be 6-4, is it? No. Oh. They can challenge. And here comes the challenge. Time off. Case with the captain's challenge by New South Wales. Challenging the on-field decision of a knock-on. So up we go to Casey Badger up in the bunker. First captain's challenge for the evening. See, in the old days, that's just a drop ball. But they could argue that the ball was stripped that's away it. and knocked on by Queensland. There's got to be a hand in that, Gus. She's playing at that ball. I saw two of them. <laughs> I 
We'll get back to a replay in a moment, but Lasana Lutu again with amazing footwork. She's a shifty stepper off the left foot and the right foot. Like we said, she's a real X Factor player. Played a bit of the women's game this year. In the Tasha Gale competition, she scored five tries and had nine try assists for the Tigers. You can see that. She's just one of those players, Gus, that always looks like she's got plenty of time in the world. Creates it for herself. It looks like the captain's challenge was a winner. Yeah, we couldn't hear from Casey Badger, but challenge successful. All right, here come New South Wales on the charge and a good run too from Mayeva. Playing it just short of the line. Montgomery, Lutu, what will happen here? Now Taylor goes behind. The leader on the far side of the field, Tawi Hiku. Five metres away from the line. That is where. Now Taylor goes on her own from dummy half. She'll get over the line and it'll score. Jada Taylor doing it on her own. Yeah, she had a nice tr uh, touch in the first try that they scored. But again, this is awareness from the dummy uh, the girl as she goes to dummy half. Osana Lutu attracts attention as she sprints from open to blindside. Harvey Norman replay. The defence goes with her. And Jada Taylor sneaks away into the end goal and muscles the ball down for the Blues' second try. We spoke about the speed before the game and how hard it is to stop. But when you're in those scenarios that close to the line, she's someone you just have to put that extra number on because I, I go as far as saying she's the fastest person out there on the field, Salty. And such a danger in that position. This decision making to just go and straighten up, brilliant. Down to you, Gal. Yeah, Jada Tar has been outstanding tonight, but I agree with Gus. It was the, the work around the back from, from Lutu. She's been outstanding tonight, uh, on that, particularly on that right-hand side of the field. She's thrown some good balls, come back inside off her right foot. But uh, when she went around the back there, definitely held the centre of the Queensland side out, which gave Jada Taylor that little bit of room she needed, and she's been fantastic tonight. Ruben Sherrington, 10 metres in from touch. No goal. Jada Taylor, part of the Sydney Roosters Indigenous Academy, and as we mentioned earlier, from Tamworth. So, right future in the game. Yeah, she comes from a touch football background, and she actually scored four tries on this ground earlier in the year. So she loves Leichhardt Oval. She's got herself over for another one. And that's ruled to be a knock on there from Lasana Lutu. A good chance for Queensland to hit back. The Blues unable to convert their tries, so any score now from the Maroons will put them back in front. All the girls enjoying the night out. They come from all over. They drive hours and hours to be here. Netball teams, soccer teams, cricket teams, Indigenous teams, school groups. They all come down in buses and on trucks and in vans. <laughs> Everything. Surely you've got a couple more vehicles up your sleeve, Gus. Planes, trains, automobiles. <laughs> well, here come Queensland. And going for the law, dropping it just before the line was Jatea Fafua. She was about to reach out and the ball came loose. This would have been tackle one. We've got a no try. Can you just confirm she loses the ball in the field of play? Now, it looked like a no try to the naked eye. Let's go to the bunker eye. Oh, it's it's only the ball. Good defence by the Blues. Nice ball movement from the Maroons, though. They had a shot on tackle one from the scrum win. Nearly got them. When there are not many opportunities in a game of origin, Gus, how important is it to defend those errors? 
Saving tries is more important than scoring tries, Alana. So it's no try. And the ball was dropped inside the field of play. So it'll be a scrum feed here for New South Wales. Yeah, they certainly saved one there and forced the error with it. So some good defence there from New South Wales. It's not much in this at all, is it? I wouldn't have thought that either after the start that New South Wales had. Two points in it. And just reminding you, there's only six and a half minutes left in the first half. 30 minute halves. There'll be no draw because we go to Golden Point. We can't get a winner at Golden Point. We go all night until someone scores. We just saw pop up missed tackles. Four for New South Wales as they get a penalty to get into the other half and 21 from Queensland. I think that paints a pretty good picture of how the teams have been going. New South Wales able to get down the other end of the field pretty easily, but Queensland just as dangerous when they do have that territory. So penalty for a high tackle here. And that's just a penalty. Hey. Fitzhay was in there. Yeah, it was hurt. Coming across. She's had a couple of big hits since she got on the field. Hasn't found touch from the kick, though. Yeah. That might be why they took the tap last time. And Sensei Kiriaratu took the ball there for Queensland. So let off for the Maroons, that's for sure. Good technique and defence there. Three women in the tackle. Got her on her back. Oh, just unlucky. They didn't peel off in time. But that's the idea. Slow down those, play the ball. Okay, when you're ready. New South Wales pack doing well because they're giving away a distinct size advantage. Here's Montana Mukusu. Kiriaratu gets a pass. Out wide and yeah, who's on the field that I to see Jasmine Peters come on the field on that far side. A player of great experience in NRLW is Mukusu. 35 away. Herdigen goes to Kiriaratu. Thought about a pass there to Pucky, but took the line on herself. Holt. To Herdigen, centre of the ground, Ferguson, long pass it goes, and it is Peters. And they wrap her up and do a good job. She's a dangerous player, Jasmine Peters. Played for the Gold Coast Titans in NRLW. Now Ferguson just held up that kick. Tricky bounce at the back. Oh, great work. Staying in the field of play. That's outstanding. Was that Jada Taylor again? It was. He's having a game. Oh. Well, here's a break. Zoe Hiku. Good charge. Up over the 30. Three and a half minutes left in the first half. And New South Wales... Doing what they've done well for most of the game. Oh, hang on, there's the mop. Coming out of their own end has been a real strength for New South Wales, but not on this occasion. And Queensland have the ball. Shantae Kiriaratu. Right in the centre of Leichhardt Oval. The women's under-19s origin. What the? We expected a good contest. It's exactly what we're getting to kick things off on this Thursday night. <laughs> Young K, that is a good run. That's a beauty. She's come back on the field as well, too, did Fiona Young K. Now Ferguson. This little short ball away. And that's good defence. Strong in the tackle again. That's Annika Wilson was one of the defenders. Now Ferguson. 
It's a pass. Boulay. Boulay for the line. Oh, she stops. He got there. Atessa Pulley for Queensland. Well, they've done well there. They're damaging on that left edge, aren't they, Queensland? Young K coming back on and just settling the Queensland women down. She took that really hard yacht run through the middle. And then we see this on the Harvey Norman replay. Jada Ferguson took the line on, a lovely little offload. And then they just finished the job off. There's four, five New South Wales Blues jerseys, but not enough to stop that determined run from Poulet. Well, the key part of this was she was a decoy runner. She didn't get the ball, then stayed alive, got the offload, and was able to accelerate to where they were short in numbers and then muscled her way to the end goal. She's only just got to the line if she has. Casey Badger up in the bunker might want to have a look at that before they award the try, but the key thing there was she kept herself alive. She was a decoy runner, they dummied to her. Oh, cheers, she dummies and goes away, but she backs up and gets it there. Now she'll reel the surge, pushes through, reaches out, We'll have a closer look to see whether or not she got that ball down on the line. Oh, here we go. We're going to have a look. Told you. Just looking to confirm the grounding. There are cameras everywhere. You get away with nothing. Let's have a look. Lands on that elbow, the ball comes Just looking loose. to see Ooh. if the Queensland player maintains possession in grounding the ball. This side on view will help us, Gus. Yeah, she definitely lost it. Whether or not she's grabbed it again with that right hand in what they call her. She's got to re-grip it. Queensland failed to maintain possession and knock the ball on over the goal line. We have a decision. In case you bad, you sure. they got big right, magnifying no glasses up there. Mm -hmm. Peter. The bunker? They miss nothing. Yeah. Big magnifying glasses. That was unlucky because it was a nice... Nice individual effort there. Deserved a try, but she landed on her elbow, and sometimes that can jolt the ball loose and it was hard to get it back. So a let off for the Blues. And New South Wales remain in front by two. There's nothing in it. You get the feeling you're, you're thinking we might have overtime here to, today. We might go into Golden Point. I can smell it. I can smell it. So the readjusted clock means that we have got just under two minutes left. I'm sensing a golden point on uh, Sunday night too. Yeah, Origin 2 on Sunday night. Exclusive live and free. Seven o'clock Sunday on nine and nine now. I think you get some bonus time on Sunday night. I think you get extra time. That'll delight the viewers and the people attending. Doesn't really delight New South Wales supporters. No. We don't want it as close as that. <laughs> Shante Kiriaratu. Both fullbacks having terrific halves. Lively. There's Emma Parkey. Down to the last minute of the first half. Strong defence. Corday was in there. She's been good since coming on the field. Zoe Hiku as well. A couple of tackles left here for Queensland. That's a good, strong run. And Lily Colt. Is the last. I thought I might have even put it through the hands of the winger, but this is going to be allowed to bounce. Where's it going to go into touch? And it goes into touch harmlessly in the ends. Well, it's been an action packed first half of football. Three tries, two to the Blues, one to the Maroons, one disallowed try to the Maroons. And an 8 6 scoreline. So plenty to do for the coaches at half time. And Big second half coming up. Certainly do, and that is half time here at Leichhardt Oval. 
And what an entertaining half of football that has been. Not much between the sides. Two points as we go to the break. New South Wales in front of Queensland, eight points to six. Second half here at Leichhardt Oval. First of many games we've got for you on Rep Round and on Sunday night, game two of the Ampol State of Origin. Live from Optus Stadium in Perth. A massive must-win class for Freddie's Blues to keep the series alive. The only place you'll catch all the action live and free is here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Bring it on exclusive, live and free. Seven o'clock on Sunday on Nine and Nine now. The scene is hold. We've got seven representative games in the lead up right, to time. Origin 2. And this being the first one. New South Wales going into the second half with a two point lead. It's two tries to one. Queensland denied a try late in the first half. You would expect the way that this game has gone that there will be nothing between the teams. From now through to the full-time siren in around half an hour from now. And boy, there's been some great skill on display as well. If you're just tuning in, you've got to keep an eye on both of the fullbacks. And arguably one of the best players in the, the half. And there's a late offload and a knock on, I would have thought. But no play on. Six more tackles here for Queensland. Look, Kusu has it. Big opportunity here. Young K gets a pass away to Carter. And Jacinta Carter will play the ball. 22 away from the line. Ferguson has been strong. Now Peters. Tackle 10 metres away from the line. What an opportunity this is for Queensland. Pulley. Kiriaratu. Ferguson turns one inside there for Carter. Quick play the ball too from Carter. No. Lost it. Uh, just tried to be a little too quick. Getting a nice surge going there, Queensland. Tala, what do you want to... On the inside, changing the angle. Just tried to do things too quickly. Hasten slowly. Been strong coming off the bench, Jacinta Carter for Queensland. Positive start by the Maroons, eh? Lock off, all in. Break. New South Wales now coming off their own line after that error from the Maroons. Real free flowing game of football. Teams with plenty of opportunities. And the Blues coming out of their own ends. 15 short of the halfway line, with Patrick playing it. We play the ball. And now New South Wales all of a sudden into Queensland Territory after starting the set of six pretty much on their own line. Maeva playing it on the... Oh, they dropped it. Had a little bow peep. With Taylor Montgomery. And knocked the ball on, so Queensland can start this set of six inside New South Wales Territory. Oh, like her. Some stories to tell, doesn't it? Oh, doesn't it ever? Doesn't it ever? What's your best from Leichhardt, Gus? Alana, <laughs> what happens at Leichhardt stays at Leichhardt. I was almost certain that's what the answer was going to be. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give it a crack anyway. Erdogan, it's a good run. From the captain in Hannah Larson. They're building to something here, Queensland. Very positive at the moment. Ferguson. Nice little short ball. Pulley. 
back to Ferguson. We'll get up and play it. Kiriaratu, it's through the hands. Carter again just says, we'll go towards the post, but it's stopped. Numbers to the right for the Maroons. On the last, Ferdigen puts a kick over the top. It's still here. Larson gets a pass away to the winger who's going to be put into touch. Yeah, good footy on the last play and great defence by New South Wales. Didn't panic. They look dangerous there, that set, Queensland. Taking the line on with multiple options, both inside and outside. So for New South Wales, that can cause plenty of headaches, but they stayed composed and they used that sideline as an extra defender. And just pushed them out. Nearly getting there was Helen Watuwalangi. Good run. Oh, that's a good run. Straight up. Oh. Bang, try to get out of my way. That is a very good run from Leon. Not for the first time tonight. She's coming with a insightful run like that. The New South Wales winger. Now Wilson playing it. Here's a kick over the top. Coming out after it, the chase is on. Kiriaratu has it covered for Queensland. Just claiming that she was held up a little bit. I think it was fair enough. Shoulder to shoulder, the referee's saying. But that's a, a little bit of creativity right there, seeing that there's no fullback at home. Took the chance. Nishante Kiriaratu read it nicely and got back and diffused it. Isn't she lively? Jada Taylor. Wow. Loves a game of footy. As I say, she came from a touch football background, and that's where a lot of the girls are starting their rugby league journeys. Playing touch football, playing Oz tag football. And going through the processes that are available now to, to learn to tackle and get used to physical contact and graduate through to this level of football. Iriratsu puts it high. Underneath it is Leo. That drop it's so well initially and then the contact came as she was trying to regather and just bobbled out what about the pressure from queensland there the kick was perfect but to be up in her face she took that last little glimpse she did well there pucky but it does hand queensland another set of six and a scrum feed in the middle of the field Great attacking opportunity in the first half. They went on play one, nearly scored in the corner. The four lined out to the left, two out to the right. New South Wales have accommodated and lined their defence up exactly the same. Where do you think they look most dangerous, Gus, the Queensland women? We don't have to worry about it at the moment because yeah. it all came unstuck. I, I, I just I just think their energy. They've got some really good hole runners. They've got some big girls that are pushing through the line and they haven't got much of an offload yet. They got an offload just before half time and, and that led nearly to a try. It was a disallowed try, but they're trying to do it on brute force. They're probably not as silky as the playmakers in the New South Wales side, but they're just doing it with will at the moment. Watching the toss of the for the men's under 19 New South Wales have won the toss. They'll be receiving the ball. It's coming up after this game over on Channel 9. You'll be able to watch the men's under 19's Origin Clash on air from 7.30. Hasn't been played since 2019, but it's always been a really good guide to future NRL players. Very large percentage of those boys that play for New South Wales and Queensland find themselves into the NRL. And the last time it was played, back in 2019, I think there's nearly four or five of them are going to play in the Origin game this Sunday night. Yeah, Matt Burton, David Middleton tells us, was man of the match the last time that game was played, Gus. Yeah. Sure, Lungy was in that game. Stephen Crichton was in that game. He was, yeah. That's a you know, good, strong charge. From Chantel to Nyanga. Well, that kick. Oh, it's knocked on by Queensland. There's a chance kicked for the Blues. Kicked into no man's land there by Lutu. Now they go down a short side. Going for the line is Robinson. 
We know how fleet of foot she is. For the first try early on tonight. Now Lucci with a step, another step. Gets a pass away, it's opened up for Robinson. Try! Gets it down, the Blues go further in front. Well, we've seen that combination play out a few times tonight. Lasana Lutu linking up with Andy Robinson on the right edge. And they've done it again. Just that sheer talent, Lutu's ability to take the line on with those fast feet, as we see here on the Harvey Norman replay. And Andy Robinson once again holding her width and using a little bit of pace and determination to go over. You can see that Queensland women's feet just not moving as fast as those New South Wales ones. Back on the inside, it's always dangerous targeting those shoulders. Now, Andy Robinson played the ball and backed up to score a try. And the teams I coach, you get a, a reward for that. Not many people have done it over the years, but that's a that's a hundred bucks. If you can do that, Paul Gallon. Well, Gus Gould, I noticed that, I saw that, and I was I wanted to bring it back up and I want to see you at the end of the game and let her know Gus Gould owes you a hundred bucks for playing the ball and scoring a try. So uh, I'll be certain to let her know Gus at the end of the game. But I've got to give Lutu a rub there. She was been outstanding in the first half. We saw she's on the right hand side of the field step a couple of times off her right foot. But that's that time she showed she could step off her left foot also. Two left foot steps, passing the ball back to Robinson who scored the try. And I'll be letting her know Gus, mm. hundred bucks coming her way. <laughs> Gal, we would have done it three or four times a set if you knew there was a hundred on the line. <laughs> Here's a conversion attempt, it's there. Leichhardt over looking magnificent. And it's straight for the home side at the moment. New South Wales in front, 14 to 6. That kickoff could be dangerous. Oh, that's done well. Robinson's got it. He's got the ball on a string. Would you, Gus, have had to put a limit on Paul Gallon if you were coaching him with that incentive? Gal was a hog. <laughs> He'd pass it to himself. <laughs> <laughs> At least I would have scored, Gus. <laughs> I'd have made it 10 bucks. <laughs> I wouldn't have let you, mate. I would have demanded 100. The, the gal I know would have taken the 10 bucks anyway. Dingiest <laughs> boy, dingiest boy in the game. The and leave me alone. <laughs> Good set here from New South Wales and Middleton. Tackled by Parkey. The last, they just get a kick away. In the end, it's not a bad one. Neither for Fua. Fleet of foot. I'll tell you what it does do, it makes them all back up. They all play the ball and take off after it. <laughs> Kiriaratu. Full back for Queensland. Stumbled a bit as he got up to play the ball there and he's limping a little bit in back play. Hulay. There was a telling try that one because it puts him out to an eight point advantage, the biggest lead of the game. And, and the Queensland just seem a little bit stunned by that at the moment. They've got to shake it off, put themselves back in the contest. There wasn't much between the two teams on the two and fro, but now it's an eight point game. Ferdinand, good contact on her. She put the kick in, and there's a knock on from Queensland. And New South Wales have it She's on her feet. New South Wales with that eight point lead. Now, coming up. After this, over on Channel 9, the hottest young prospects in men's rugby league take to the field in the under-19 men's state of origin. Coverage over on Channel 9 starts at 7.30.
Yeah, really important for all those boys tonight. If you think about rugby league over the last couple of years with COVID interruption and a lot of junior football and rip football was not played, they kind of missed their age group. So getting the opportunity to play in this under 19 college and match tonight is really important for them to showcase their talents. They're all shamed up by the rest of the Great players. He's going to be tackled uh, uh, on go. the last. Player, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot White. of the players in action tonight, Gus, but one in particular, White, Blake Moser. Big raps on him. He's the Queensland the number nine. He's got a long-term contract at the Broncos. Well, someone was telling me today that he'll be a 10-year NRL player at the Broncos. They're so confident with him. Very, very excited. Great talent on display tonight. And we've got some terrific talent on display here as we edge close to the halfway mark of the second half. And as Gus just mentioned, an eight-point lead now for New South Wales. And have a look at this defence from the Blues as well. Ruby Jean Kennard back on the field and making some really good tackles. Another Puna though. Strong charge from her. There's three of them bring her down at the end. Good run. Just takes a run like that to get you back on the front foot. Murdichin puts in a kick and it's allowed to bounce again. Edging towards touch. Oh. You now stuff there if you're a New South Wales player. You know what I say about letting the ball bounce. Whoops. Oops. Straight through they go. Is that Middleton? Over the halfway line, stepping as Taylor. Taylor, the fullback, should have known how lively she is. How good. That was brilliant from Jada Taylor on that far side of the field. Well, she stepped her opposing number four times there. <laughs> she hung on though, Shantae, did a good job. Good run there from Tanunga. Now Montgomery, Larson in there, Parkey as well. Sherrington. Tunganga. And there's Ruby Jean Kennard. Five away from the line. They'll be hard to run down here. New South Wales if they can score. Lutu on the last. They're putting it through the hands. They've got numbers. And she's in again for try number three. Andy Robinson. Well, they didn't overcomplicate things here in New South Wales. The last run from Ruby Jean Kennard, just to set it up, they had a two-woman overlap on the right-hand edge. And just look at the way that they approached the try line here, as we see on the Harvey Norman replay. They get a nice little shift, and it's this run to straighten up the defensive line, keep them honest. Kirkpatrick does that well, and then they just feed the ball out, as they've done. to go over on this right-hand side. It's been lethal all night. Andy Robinson, she gets another one. You know what I loved about that? No decoy runners. They just kept the ball out in front, played the numbers, got the ball to the edge. They went from east to west and they did it really quickly with just lovely ball movement. Didn't try to overcomplicate it with decoy runners and dummy runners and Bang, out in front, out in front, out in front, out in front, out in front. That's all it takes sometimes. Great work. A night to remember for Andy Robinson. Here are her three tries. Speed early on in the game. one from close to the line and here was the try getting the ball from Jules Kirkpatrick that's brilliant stuff three tries on a big stage like this for the young lady Gus you were talking before about the pathways I've played a little bit of Oztag with Andy Robinson uh, in Cronulla always a young gun always a player to watch coming through no matter the code and we've seen it on the big stage Soliola with the attempted conversion waved away 
Now, don't forget, Sunday night, a do or die for the Blues at Optus Stadium in Perth in Ampol, State of Origin, Game 2. Coverage starts from 7 o'clock in the Eastern States, 5 o'clock Perth local time. Don't miss Australia's greatest sporting rivalry. Exclusive, live and free on Nine's Wide World of Sports. It's on Nine and Nine now on Sunday night. Bring it on. Origin 2. So a bit over 12 minutes remaining. And it is a 12 point lead. They're shooting for touch, but they're taken there by Duckett. It's to Lutu. Well, I didn't see this scoreline in the first 30 odd minutes of play. I thought it would be very, very tight. And Queensland probably came out of the. Here's another line break. Well, another break being made here. It's Charrington ducking under tackles. Then New South Wales on the front foot. All the momentum with the Blues. Montgomery gets a pass away. And Parkey nearly with a one-on-one -on -one steal on Middleton. Kennard been terrific in this second half. Ruby Jean Kennard. They can almost put it to bed here, New South Wales. Lutu gets the arms free, eventually gets a pass away. Queensland defence is there through Kia and Ferguson. Last play, Lutu. Now Taylor puts in a kick. Oh, it's been taken by Nutapuna. Great take. Now Danica with some very excited guests here in the crowd. The Reuben Charrington's family. Take it away, Danica. Yes, thank you, Salty. I'm with the Reuben Charrington's whole family in here. We've got Mum, um, on, uh, Andrea, yeah, yeah. here um, as well. Now, Andrea, tell us through, talk us through who you've got that's uh, come here tonight. Okay, so we've got her papa from Perth, her dad, her youngest brother, one brother's at training. We've got Fano here from Perth as well, who are here chasing rugby league and rugby goals so yeah a pretty good turnout now what's it like you've got one daughter kennedy who plays for the eels in the nrlw and you're watching your other daughter ruben play here at lightheart oval in the under 19 state of origin what's that like for you uh, it's a bit overwhelming um because we're from uh wa so you know they've chased it and chased it and grinded like they haven't had the same opportunities as girls here in new south wales so to come here even though they're eligible they're born in new south wales um yeah so it's pretty Pretty inspiring, I think, for a lot of girls. But as a mother, yeah, out this punch. Yeah. And I can hear you losing your voice. You've been cheering all <laughs> every single moment of this. So I'll let you get back to the rest of the game. Oh, thank you so much. Back to you, Salty. Uh, great stuff. Well done, Danica, with the Sherrington family. That's just after Ruben made a line break as well. He's come back across the rock, which affects it. No, 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 no. Penalty to New South Wales. Back here. Wait. Ruben Sherrington. The take the tap. Good tackle. Good contact there. Carter on Kennard. Another penalty. Back to back penalties now Don't for the Blues. The yeah, they're making all the running now, the Blues. Queensland having to transgress in the play of the ball to try and slow things down. Playing with a lot of confidence now, New South Wales. Malani Wilson playing the ball. Sherrington. Late arriving the dummy half, but just got down, picked up the ball, lost no momentum. That's well done. Kirkpatrick. Oh, step. Beautiful step it was too from Wilson. Now Sherrington to Lutu. Montgomery. Taylor. Good hands from Middleton. Still going towards the line. I thought the play had stopped. Eventually, they hold it progress. Only a couple of metres away. Just short again. They can seal the game here in New South Wales. Montgomery kicking back towards the corner. Now, is that a knock on? It was. No. Penalty Queensland. Yeah, they're all offside. Offside, kick chase. A little bit of miscommunication there. But again, confident ball movement. Queensland did really well to hold them out. Oh, 
nearly didn't try and touch again. Took a couple of bounces before it left the field. The Maroons need to lift. They just need someone to come up with a big run and they're a good pass. Trying to go, gets them back in it. Got to hold on to the ball there, Carter. You see that here every day. Now they're on the halfway line, Queensland. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the under 19 women's origin. It's now or never for the Maroons. They've been outclassed in this second half. Uriaratu tackled 30 metres away from the Blues line. There's two tackles left in this set. Colk. Ferguson. There's an injured player in back play for New South Wales as well. The trainers calling for it to be stopped, but it hasn't. Let's play on here. This kick is for Fua. Taylor's there. She's going to get back in the field of play here. That is massive from the dead ball line. Oh, and she's going to go a lot further. No one is going to get to her over the halfway line. She's starting to get on the treadmill. Paul A is chasing. Oh, that is remarkable. New South Wales will win the game off the back of a length of the field try for Jada Taylor. Outstanding. Well, this might be about 108 metres she's run. That's in a straight line, let alone the, the deviation she took. Watch this on replay. Grab a kick into the end goal, and you thought, well, this is a little bit of danger here. Queensland on the attack, Harvey Norman replay. She picks it up, she runs back towards a dead ball line. Let's make this 109 metres in a direct line. But she had a little bit of a swerve, now she starts to pace herself. She says, come on, what do you got? What do you got? I've got you, I've got you. She's up over the left shoulder, looks over the right shoulder. She did it easy, Peter, she did it easy. Well, the Roosters would just be rubbing their hands together. She's in their system at the moment. NRLW star in the making. What an unbelievable game from Jada Taylor. And we've seen her entire skill set tonight. We've seen that blistering pace. She's got footwork. She's been exceptionally strong in defense. Her positioning's brilliant. Her passing game set up a try. We've seen her take a kick. What can't this woman do? A 109 metre try. I, I think you're ripping her off about seven or eight metres there. You're, well, yeah, but she she deviated a little yes. bit. But like, line, line to line, she's got it. She's gone a half a metre inside her own dead ball line. What's this? She goes back. She gets it. There you are. She's nearly touching the dead ball line. Out she goes. A little bit of a right hand turn, and off for the prize. Yeah, there we go. She says, "Come on, what do you got?" She looks over the left. Looks over to the left. Looks over the left. Anything coming from the right? Let's have a look. No, nothing there. Come on, I've got you beat. Come on, darling. And she did it easy. He's down in the end. Put the whip away. Brilliant stuff. Now, Reuben Sherrington's got the kicking duties back. And has it got the legs? No, just short. No, the Ampol Women's State of Origin is back and heading to Canberra tomorrow night. It's your last chance to buy tickets to the biggest clash in women's rugby league. Kids under 15 get in free with a paying adult. Head to nrl.com slash tickets now. Yeah, can't wait for that tomorrow night. Women's Origin tomorrow night. Pacific Test on Saturday, and then we've got State of Origin 2, exclusive live and free, 7 o'clock Sunday on 9 and 9 now. And there's some concern here in the centre of the ground for Mona Lisa Soliola. So she might have got a bit of a poke in the eye and maybe a, a neck bent backwards a little bit. Everything we're seeing out there would just be precaution at the moment. She was actually sitting up. There she is. Probably stunned a little bit. Which seems okay, which is good. Good girl. Gonna be the end of her night, but it's good to see that she's up and about. Now a huge Saturday 
back-to-back footy coming up on Nines Wild World of Sports from 1 o'clock. Tonga taking on New Zealand in men's and women's test matches. Then we're back to Campbelltown Stadium for a huge double header with Samoa taking on the Cook Islands and PNG up against Fiji. It's all part of the massive weekend of rep footy right here on Nines Wide World of Sports. Now on her feet and coming from the fields on Elisa Soliola. Beautiful night here at Leichhardt Oval. And don't forget, at 7.30 tonight, we've got the men's under-19s origin clash into the Blues rooms. And there's the Queenslanders getting ready. So over on Channel 9 at 7.30 tonight, the men's under-19s. That's Mona Lisa Soliola in the tunnel. Inside the final five minutes, whoops. and I don't think that one's going to go to the 10. That's one of those whoops kicks. As soon as you kick it, you go whoops. <laughs> those short kickoffs are not easy to do. You've got to practice them a lot, particularly to execute them under pressure. You've seen a few short kickoffs, Gus, these days. Not just being the high one, but the the grubbering run, so you might get a result of it just bouncing over the head of a player and going into touch. Any number of ways to kick a football, Peter. That's it. 218, well, 109 of those were in one go. <laughs> she doubled a tally. <laughs> She's had a night, though. Two tries. As I said earlier this year, she scored four tries on this ground in the Tasha Gale Cup game, so... He obviously loves playing at Leichhardt. Well, speaking of four tries, they're going to go the other side here for Lutu for the line. Big back line set here for New South Wales on the last. And they go for Robinson here to get her fourth. No, they go back towards where the ruck was. And Montgomery will be tackled with the ball. And that'll be a turnover. It was the last tackle. Minutes left. There's a good shot there too on Watua Lungi. They're still playing with that energy as if it's nil all on the scoreboard. The Blues. We've already seen it announced that there's further expansion of the NRLW competition in 2024, and there'll be even more expansion beyond that. So, Alana, these pathways and these representative opportunities are really important for the young girls, aren't they? And where they recruit them, you know, some of these girls have played a little bit of sevens rugby, others have, have played Oztag and touch football. And... Yeah, you're right. It, they're, they're crucial. You talk about the pathways, Ruby Jean Kennard for New South Wales, the prop. She's the first player to come through that Eels pathway and to earn the NRLW jersey. But you're right. It's a showcase NRLW, and the fact that it's expanding is exciting. Uh, that we just need to poach some more players and then and then continue the journey of these players on through to the NRW, which is another big step up. But they're on showcase tonight, and you can already see that they're going to earn those jerseys that they'll soon get. Five out there tonight, Salty, that yeah. have played NRLW. And you'd expect that a few of these players will be making their NRLW debut and. The 2022 season kicks off later in the year. And the delayed 2021 season earlier this year. Montgomery looking to get a pass away. Does to Cherrington. Been busy, Cherrington. Still not held. Eventually, she's made to play it. Blue two. Are they going to go for Robinson here? The kick. No, there's going to go further out to the winger, but it goes. Doesn't go to it does. Thought the bat back was going to be successful. There from Tawi Hiku. Well, I think she got there in time. She just didn't bat it back far enough. <laughs> then it would have been try number four for Andy Robinson into the last couple of minutes. Here we go. She did leave from, yes, in the goal area. Far away. 
Fafua playing it. Ferguson. Now, here, the dummy half. Ferguson gets a pass away to Carter. 30 seconds remaining. The New South Wales have been simply awesome in this second half. Queens can Queensland find a consolation try? For Fua. Playing the ball back to Cole. Kiriaratu, Ferguson, goes to Mukkusu. To be last play of the game. Again, Queensland end on a high. Pass like that. They've kept it alive, though. Kiriaratu to Ferguson. Siren sounds. They get a kick away and coming out after it. Well, the ball will beat them. It'll go dead. And that is a comprehensive win for New South Wales. An awesome second half performance. They kept Queensland scoreless after half time. And in the end, full time here at Leichhardt Oval, the New South Wales under 19s have defeated Queensland 22 points to six.